right, guys, we're on site today, and I want to talk to you about, you know, what is a homeowner's permit? Well, a homeowner's permit is exactly what it sounds like. It is a permit in your area that will allow you to pull an electrical permit to do electrical work in your own home. Now, some areas have stipulations on this. Some of them make you take a local city test. Some of them just make you pay and then have the inspector come. Now, a couple things that you can expect is that the inspector is going to be a little bit tougher on you because you're a homeowner, and he expects that you don't understand or know some certain things that are fundamentals, although that may not be true you may fully understand them and grasp them. The biggest thing that you want to do when you pull a homeowner's permit um, is you're going to want to do the work yourself or for a family member. That's how it is in our state. You can find out what it is in your state. It makes you do the work yourself, which is a good thing because it helps you learn. Never be scared of pulling your own permit. It's actually the cheapest insurance that you can do. For one, you have a professional putting a set of eyes on it and blessing it and make sure it's you know, making sure that, that it's quality work and also that you've done it correctly. You don't want to go to bed wondering if it's safe, wondering if you've done it right. You can buy a homeowner's permit for, you know, very little depending, you know, comparatively for what it could cost you. It's very little in between $25 and $100 or whatever it is in your area. Um, another thing that you're going to want to watch out for too and be ready for is when the inspector comes. So, Find out in your area if they're going to require a rough-in and a final. A rough-in usually means you've brought the wires into the box, you've made up all the joints and got them ready, and then they want to look at it first before you start putting devices on. So find out in your area. A quick call to your inspector or his office or her office is going to let you know very quickly what they're going to be expecting. Sometimes they'll even have a printout sheet that will give you the step-by-step -step guide in what to do and what to expect. So the biggest thing is just follow the rules, do it right, and you'll get a great, you'll get lots of knowledge from the inspector. You'll get a great sense of pride by doing it yourself and also you'll know that it's done correctly. So when do I need a homeowner's permit? Well, in our state, if you run any amount of wire, you are required to have a homeowner's permit or an electrical permit in general. If you run any type of wire that our current carrying conductors are going to be required to have a permit. In your area, it may be different. Um, also in our area, if you're doing things like a panel change or any type of large replacement like that, you're going to be required to have a permit. And each city is different as well. So your county may have one set of rules and your city may have another set of rules. Never be scared to pull a permit. It's very cheap insurance. I hope that you guys have a great day. If you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments below. And I don't want you guys to be average DIYers. I want you to be pro DIYers or pro electricians. Let's go ahead and get to it. Thank you.